Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel here for episode 32 of Retro Reviews. Today talking about Maurice Sendak's Little Bear, the little show that used to watch on Nick Jr., I believe. Um, and yeah, what a cracking show. Subscribe, like as always. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it, if you want to see anything in particular that I haven't already aired in the Retro Review series, and I'll get around to do it as soon as possible. Spoilers ahead, and enjoy. So, Little Bear, not to be mistaken with Little Bill. Little Bear is a <clears throat> is a kid's show about a Little Bear, his friends in the woods, there's one human girl, and then there's obviously Mother and Father Bear. And yeah, I have an interview out on the channel with Amos Crawley. Amos Crawley did the voice of Owl, and of course, I intend to do more in the future, but Little Bear... Began in 95 <clears throat> and finished in 2001. Had 13, uh, five seasons, sorry, and a mixture of 10 to 15 episodes per season. I don't know if that includes each segment because the episode I watched earlier was just eight minutes of a 24 segment. <clears throat> so I don't know if that's what it means. But ultimately, and I think, yeah, because I went for on time, it says 24 minutes per episode. So that's a lot of episodes technically because you got eight minutes, an eight minute segment three times in each episode, so <clears throat> maths, 15 episodes, but there's three segments in each of those episodes, so like 45, um, if my maths is correct, uh, but yeah, a Little Bear, has it lived up, is the animation good, is it enjoyable, why did it appeal to me, <clears throat> Little Bear is fantastic, simply because it's so charming and so cute and so easy to watch, the eight minutes I watched the first episode, because I've not watched it since my childhood, um, <clears throat> You get this relationship with him and his mother. You know, no other characters in the episode. It's literally them two. She's obviously a designer of sorts. She's designing clothes around this uh, mannequin. <clears throat> and, um, you know, he's constantly cold. And it's like, it's this thing. He's a bear. He's got a woolly coat on. But I think he just wants his mother's attention at the same time. You know, he um, he's constantly looking inside the house. He gets a hat. He gets a coat. He gets pants. He's still cold takes it all off, and he realizes it's just using his fur. So it's little funny things like that. The, the, the cute relationship between them two, the mother being so patient with him being such a little person, and obviously a young character. I just thought it was such a cool idea because it's just like everyday stuff you'd watch. You know, it's enjoyable, it's comical, it's cute, it's simple. And I think Little Bear was always something that stood out to me as a kid. <clears throat> you know, I've done so many shows um already around 32 as i said you know you watch you know you find the sam's you post from parts you watch this you watch max and ruby Megan ferocious beast then you grow older and you watch drake and josh and i carly and keenan and kale then you wizard away the place and then you grow out of all that stuff but you never forget it and i think you know when i've sat down and talked about it with amos crawley you know you could see how much he loved the show how close the cast was how brilliant it was to work on this for five years from 95 to 2001 and i just think it's a very simple show with a simple concept, a brilliant cast of actors. And I think there's just something really brilliant about the show. It's it's always one of those things, it's never going to be the greatest thing ever, but it's just enjoyable. And I think if you can find enjoyment in any show, you, 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 you've succeeded. It lives up to modern day 100%. I think anyone and everyone should watch it as a kid. Uh, it's just an easy... I mean, yeah, I watched it for nostalgic purposes, and it was just so easy to watch because Bear and Mother Bear are so charming as a, as a, as, as a relationship, and it's just incredible to see how easy it is to watch them on screen. The animation is just brilliant. I love how, car, how the cartoon is drawn or brought to life, and I think these sorts of shows that are made in the late 90s are, are, are the reason why we don't like the modern animation because these were so simple and you know crayon drawings and pencils and in modern day everything has to be cgi and everything has to be perfect when in actuality these were the better shows for <clears throat> showcasing how simple it was to draw a duck or an owl or a cat or a chicken or a bear or a little girl you know and we've gone away from that and that's why i love these sorts of shows and we'll always talk about these shows and put respect on these shows because you know no one you know you see people posting the old episodes and stuff on YouTube, and it's amazing to see that people are still talking about it, still watching it, still wanting to be, and that people can say fond things about these, and it's brilliant. And I, I, I'm easily going to give Little Bear a five out of five because 
as I said, just leave it on this. Anyone can watch it. It's an easy watch. It's cute. It's a brilliant, brilliant design of a cartoon. And I think it's one of the finest ones done in the late 90s as a kid. And I think um, it's so gripping. You, you're, you'd be hooked for 24 minutes on each episode. And as I said, there's a lot of episodes with different segments. And I think they did a brilliant job to get five seasons and a movie as well, which I think came out in... Um, 2001 so yeah i'm excited i've just seen this it's set in the north american world that's around the end of the 19th century little bear goes an exciting adventures and learn new things with his friends emily duck hen cat and owl mother bear is a homemaker who looks at little bear while farm bear is a fisherman typically away on his ship fishing which i think is really cool because bears <laughs> eat a lot of fish which is kind of a really cool thing and i love how it's just simple names simple characters and I think Maurice Sendak, who obviously wrote... Maurice is a guy. Maurice, who wrote the books, obviously he's been dead uh, 10 years this year. Um, and I think he did a terrific job of bringing him from book to life. So you guys let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy the Little Bear series when you were growing up. If you're still watching, obviously depending on your age. Let me know down below if you want to see anything in particular from your childhood on the show. And of course, subscribe, like, and goodbye. Thank you.